Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Well, today I have a guest, my sister Tanya. She's come to hang out with us on Whip Caddy Wednesday, our favorite video of the week. <laughs> uh, we both have some things that we just wanted to show as some finished products and some finished items, and then we will get into um, the things that you guys are making. I've got a little video clip, and some of you that have posted your Whip Caddies we will show those. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'd like to say I'm drinking good old black coffee out of, what's it say, see, I crochet so I don't choke people, save a life, send yarn. And then on the back side, we have the yarn. This is from my daughter, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. I love this coffee mug. And I just wanted to show this to you guys because I don't know if you're aware of this, but if you like paydays, you can take candy corn, mix it with peanuts. And it kind of gives you the, have you tried it? Mm -hmm. It kind of gives you the taste of like you're eating a payday. Payday candy bar. Yeah, it's very addicting. So I am down to just this much left. <laughs> I can't quit snacking on them. You've been snacking. I have been snacking. And the other thing is um, my tutorial, the solid shell stitch or scallop stitch, uh, came out Tuesday, yesterday. So I wanted to show this to you guys, um, and I'll leave the link below so you can go check out that stitch of the week. Um, and before we get to, Tanya's got some stuff she's gonna show, but I'll show mine real quick. I do have this pattern and it will be going up in the Etsy shop. It is a, um, a table runner. So um, I have the pattern, it's all ready, it's been tested and everything. And so this will be going up the pattern will be going up in the Etsy shop. And to go along with that, um, a pattern for this placemat. So guys, be on the lookout for that in my Etsy shop. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, and I just wanted to remind you guys, it's Halloween. <laughs> and I, you made one of these, didn't you? I did. Man, I should have sh had you to bring yours. Didn't even think about it. I didn't either. Anyway, this is the indoor throw that I created last year and I have a tutorial on it. You want to help me? Mm -hmm. I have a tutorial on this. And so if you want to make the indoor throw for Halloween or any, you can do it any other color. It doesn't have to be the Halloween colors. It could be done in Christmas colors. Christmas is coming up. Um, but I just want to remind you guys, I do have a tutorial on this and I will leave this, the link to the tutorial in the um, description box below. And this is done with um, a medium full weight yarn. I think I used uh, Joanne's big, big, is it Big Twist? Big Twist. Yeah, I think I used all of Joanne's Big Twist yarn colors. This is below the edge. Yeah, I do too. I don't know if you can see that. It's gorgeous. This right here. I love that green, the way it's, you know. I might do that for the blanket that I'm working on now that I see that. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, now, um, to show you my whip, I only have one, well, I have several, but I'm only going to show you one. And this is with Hobie. It is a blanket. So it's the, I think I titled it, what did I say, Cabin Fever Throw? Cabin Fever. Mm -hmm. Cabin Fever Throw is what I'm calling this. So I'm using a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. I don't know why I didn't use a six, but anyway, I, I'm already quite a ways into it. And so this is color 12. I think it's a medium full weight yarn. Um, I think that's peacock, gold, black, and cream are the colors. So let me show pretty. you, it's very pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What I've got so far on the Cabin Fever Throw. Um, here you go. This is what, I don't know how well you can see it in the camera. But that's it right there. And they all have different stitches. This is V stitches in a row. This is, gosh, I can't think of it now. Mm, let me see, I got it this way, okay. That is the waddle stitch, V stitches in a row. I can't even remember what the name of the stitches are now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> move on. <laughs> yeah, move on. I'll tell you in another video. But this is it, about 60 inches is my goal. It's, to, it's about 60 inches wide. But anyway, so nice. um, I will have a pattern up for this when, once I get this done. All right, so that's all that I have. So let's go ahead and see what my beautiful sister Tanya's got over here. I brought you a mug. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's oh, cute. Man. All right. Here's a basket. Now y'all know she's the basket queen, right? So I'll leave the link to my basket tutorial uh, in the description box below. So, ooh, they're beautiful. Oh, just had to do it. And then you gave you the baby, baby. Oh, I love it. Look, you guys, baby. baby, to go with my um, coffee mug. It's got on your pods intro. in it. Put the intro. Yeah. On the intro. There's a stitch marker. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Thank you. Oh, you're Thank welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm okay, yeah, I'll use this for my intro, some of my intro videos. <laughs> oh, I um, love this. Can fill that up like with Christmas candy or anything, oh, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Oh, Christmas yeah. napkins can go in the dining room. Hey, there's all kinds of stuff could go in there. We're gonna put something in it. I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. And that red is beautiful. Wow. Did y'all see how how this stands up? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you gotta have some arms for it. Oh my goodness. That is a stiff basket. <laughs> This one is pretty good too. Look at that. Look how stiff that is. Man, I wish I could crochet like that. If you could only feel it, huh? <laughs> That's pretty good. Now, I know you said something on your video a couple of videos ago. You wanted a basket made. Yeah. Okay. For my stitch samples. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna make you a basket. All right. <laughs> Y'all, I knew she would. I'm going to make look, it a basket. Look how stiff she makes these things. She's the basket queen. <laughs> oh, and these are and great colors. colors. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it. It's big twist. Big yeah. twist. It's sapphire and white. 100% acrylic. Medium full weight yarn. Oh, yeah. I love these colors. It's oh. going to be perfect. It'll be done next week. So, I need it bigger than the uh, one that I... Keep my samples in. I'll have to. Yeah. Oh, you want to take it home with you? The one that, so you can make sure yeah. you make it bigger? Yeah. I'm just going to send the basket that. home with her. Um, we'll do that. that. I keep my samples in, and that way she can compare. Thank you. Oh, I knew okay. she could do it. I knew it. <laughs> and then I got a project done. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, now, this some of this yarn was do uh, donated by wow. Dina. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Dina. Yeah. She finished yes. it. Yay! I have not done. seen it yet, so I'm excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this was worth every stitch to for my grandson. Oh. And He's he going is to growing. Love this. Yes, he is growing. He's wow, getting guys, tall. this is big. Let's see. This is corner to I corner, have, isn't it? Uh-huh. I do have the information right here that I always if it'll come off the bag. Mm. This is beautiful. Okay. Well, we'll leave that there. <laughs> this is, you know me, with, I keep, there's the information right there. Okay, you want me to go ahead and read it? Oh, yeah. Go okay, ahead. so it's a, color is Black Malta Mainstay, full weight. It's corner to corner. She used a I, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, um, 72 rows, increase and decrease. So it's a total of 144. And the yarn is 285 yards. It looked like she used one, two. Oh, I used more than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was more than that. <laughs> All right. But the information, I always keep that. Yeah. So he's gonna love it. You guys know it. I have a little book. I'm working on her to do a book. She hasn't started a book yet. She just well, has papers. I've started a basket to match it. All right, well so, you should have brought it. I started it, it's only about that big. So. I think that's okay. I'll, well, I'll bring it next time because right, I will have it done. Let's look at this. I will have it done. This is beautiful. I, mean, I just oh love my how gosh. It goes forever. Mm -hmm. I look at that. Think, he's going to love this. Oh, my God. I wonder goodness. if I can stand up and see if I can hold it standing up back, back here. See if you guys can see this. I made it. Yeah. I'm going to get back here. Can you 
Can you see it? Isn't that something? This is beautiful. Don't you just love how it like made yep. its own like stripes? Let me see if I come up to the camera a little bit. It's like it made its own stripes. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Wow. Man, that came out gorgeous. Tanya, you did a wonderful job on that. And I haven't even washed it yet. Man, that's gonna just be nice made. and warm. Just got it done last night. Yeah, he is going to love oh, that. Yes, yes. He, cause he likes army here and there. So. Wow. He likes the army colors. Well, um, let me go ahead and do our Be Still and No Devotion while I go get my book, Entertain Him. Oh. <laughs> well, um, and she also, oh, sisters are the best. I mean, literally the best. And she's the best. Um, <laughs> she don't put me on the spot. She don't put me on the spot. She put me on the spot. <laughs> You can handle it. She's good. <laughs> well, in today's <laughs> news, <laughs> I told you, she can handle it. Okay, um, let's see. Today's the 24th, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Or 25th? 25th. Yeah, Wednesday. Let me get the right. Who God made me to be. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against such things, there is no law. Galatians. Chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Making applesauce with autumn's abundant apple harvest is a beloved pastime across northern parts of America. Experts have developed award-winning recipes whose secret, they say, is combining multiple varieties of apples to produce a complex flavor profile. The result is a balance of the tart, sweet, crisp, mellow, and bold flavors for which apples are so well loved. Each variety of apple is essential to the applesauce. She loves applesauce. Mm -hmm. Their distinct flavors mesh into a delicious thing of beauty. In the applesauce of God's ministry, each believer's spiritual fruit flavor profile is essential. When we compare the evidence of our fruit against other believers, lies are whispered to our flesh. Your fruit isn't as shiny. Your fruit isn't as fragrant. Your fruit is too mushy and flavorless. All trees shouldn't produce the same fruit. Lord, help me to be grateful for the fruit that I bear. Help me not to compare my fruit with those around me. Thank you for creating me with a distinct flavor and uniqueness. I love that. I love that comparison of us as humans to apples. <laughs> I've never heard of that, that comparison before. That's really good. I like that. I'm going to look at apples totally different. <laughs> I have an apple tree in the front. I guess you guys know if you've been with me for a little bit since I moved into this home, which I'm half of my house is still in the garage, by the way, but um, mm -hmm. it's slowly coming into the actual home. So I have two homes. I have a garage and I have a yeah. inside yeah. a home. Split. <laughs> Split. Um, even this morning when I was shipping out the packages to my yarn winners, I had to go out to the garage to get pins and uh, packing tape and you name it because I'm still living between my garage and my actual <laughs> home. So <laughs> if I want to bake a cake, I got to go out there and find a hand mixer or a bowl. And, oh my word. I mean, you know, yeah. Oh, that's funny. So I'm living in, I call it, I'm living in two places and my house is still up for sale. So, and I still have things up in my attic and stuff. So actually I guess I'm living out of three homes. Oh, right. yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it. And I see that she left um, a tail on it so that what? In case I want to make it a, have a little, you make it a little taller or taller or bring some out for shorter. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's cool. Thank you for that. I love what it. What to do with it? So, guys, you will be seeing this um, in some of my Christmas videos intros that I have and. Coffee pots. Look at that. Perfect. Well, is there anything else you need to say? That's it. Um, glad to be here. You know, it's always <laughs> And we love your blanket. Here. We love your baskets. And, yes, yeah, it's all the projects going on. Wow. I mean, I have this tutorial <laughs> and this pattern of baskets on. The tutorial's on YouTube here. The pattern's in my Etsy shop. And I make baskets, but I cannot make my baskets like her. 
I even used a tip that she has that she had me to show you guys where as you go into the next stitch, you pull. And then you go in the next stitch and you pull and it tightens it up, makes it real tight as you go around. It's a lot of pulling, um, but it sure makes it nice and makes stiff it nice. like the way she uh, does them. She takes well, time and does that. Too. <laughs> so, you don't want to know how many I have. She's got a lot of baskets. She's the basket <laughs> queen. <laughs> About 50. Yeah, a lot. Anytime she makes a blanket, she makes a matching basket. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah. who wants to see who's got working on the whipped caddies? All right, guys. Let's let the slides roll. So here we have my sister Tanya, her whip cart. And it looks like on the shelf she has little notions, notebooks, and things like that. And she has her Ritz peanut butter crackers. Mm, they sound good about right now. It looks like on her second shelf she's working on the basket that goes with the... Um, blanket that she made for her grandson Jackson and it looks like that's the same yarn that she was gifted to by Dina so thank you so much for that Dina it looks like she's got a blue and white basket going oh yeah that looks like the basket that's going to be for my um um my samples for my stitch samples and then on the bottom is the squares and stuff for the mystery crochet along that I had thank you so much Tanya for sharing this and inspiring us with all your whips so here we have Pam's cart, and Pam, I just want to say I'm enjoying all those beautiful colors you have going there. They are just awesome. She says, good morning. She's finished her cardigan. She wanted to add pockets, but didn't have enough yarn, so she says she still needs to wash and block it, though. Starting Christmas gifts now. That's a great idea. The top shelf is a child's hat. Oh, I sent in Beanie by Crochet with Carrie. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but uh, the middle shelf is red hat is Bagel Days, Easy Beanie and Scarf, and the Pebble Puff Beanie by MJ's Off the Hook and Matching Mittens. She said she tried to decide if she wanted to do purple, white, or gray pom-poms. Keep creating and have a blessed week, everyone. All right. Thank you so much, Pam, for sharing with us. Everything is just lovely. So here we have Amy's beautiful mystery crochet blanket she's got going on. She said that um, she's just sewing the pieces together and then she's going to do a few rounds um, around the whole project. Amy, I just love this. I love these brown colors you've got going on here. And Tanya, I know if you're watching this video, you are loving this too. These are so much, a lot of your colors as well. So thank you, Amy, for sharing this with us. It is just beautiful. And guys, if you're interested in this, this is the uh, Mystery Crochet Along. Uh, there are some videos to that um, on my playlist, so go check those out. So here we have Christine's lovely projects. She said, um, from left to right is the Mystery Stitch Sampler Crochet Along blanket finished. And I love the Christmas colors on that. She used Red Heart Super Saver and Mistletoe, White, Cherry, and Patty Green. Beautiful. Uh, number two is the Boggy Creek Camp Blanket in Progress using the Bagel Day Polychromatic Pattern with Caron Simply Soft in Lime and Red Heart Super Saver Color Block in Granite. It, that is gorgeous. And then she said her uh, Granny Square Adventure with Scrap Acrylic Yarns. Having so much fun putting these together. Patterns, Willow, Farmhouse, Retro Flower, Petal Burst, Simple Flower, Standard, Half Spiked, and etc. are all on YouTube. Well, everything is beautiful, Christine. Thank you so much for sharing this and inspiring all of us. Just wonderful colors. So here we have Tina's webs. And oh my gosh, Tina. Not only do I love the blanket, but I love the granny over there. I have got to have that. So, um, yes, I need that pattern. And... I want to make one. <laughs> I want one here for my yarn room. Okay. Um, so let's see what she says. She says, good day to all and blessings. She has two whips in progress. Her corner to corner, corner to corner Kermit and some cotton washcloths. Um, and this is her first corner to corner. And oh my gosh, that's your first corner to corner. I don't even know if I could do that. That's amazing. Beautiful job. She said her sister gave her a graph and she just wrote down the pattern. Okay, she says that the granny she made last year, it keeps her hook and needles and stuff handy. And she says, thanks for adding me. Well, you are very welcome. And yes, I need that pattern. I need a granny. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tina, for inspiring us with all your beautiful projects that you've got going on. 
Now here we have Rose. She's working on three sweaters for her grandchildren. And let's see what she says. Uh, the top one up there is said the basic tea pattern by Hooked on Homemade Happiness. Care on Simply Soft, Strawberry and Light Pink. And it is beautiful. Uh, the one on the far left is a hooded sweater by AC Crochets. Um, Hershner's Worsted 8 in the color Meadow. And it is looking beautiful as well. And then the one on the right hand, she says a crochet sweater by Sarah. A uh, crochet for baby using size six millimeter crochet hook to make it for a child eight to ten years old. Care on Simply Soft and Fuchsia. And if you're using the Care on Simply Soft, that means that is going to be a very soft sweater. So uh, everything is beautiful. Thank you, Rose, for sharing that with us and giving us ideas. Now, here we have what Doreen has. She just finished this, but I wanted to post it. Um, I just recently bought some of this Big Twist cotton yarn. I haven't got to use mine, so it's kind of neat to see this cotton yarn um, made up. So thank you, Doreen, for posting this. She said that this is the moss stitch, and it's one of her favorite to do for dishcloths, and that she loves these fall colors. I love them, too. That's just gorgeous. She said the yarn and hook size um, is the 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. She said that she chained 36 to begin, and she did like 35 to 36 rows. She said it measured out to be eight inches, and she says, easy peasy. <laughs> well, thank you, Doreen, for sharing that. All right, guys, weren't they beautiful? We love to see everybody's slides. We love to see awesome. what's on your whip carts, and you know, um, the way that it keeps all of us inspired, and we just love it. Love it. So, thank you, guys. Well, uh, guys, I guess that's it. Um, We've enjoyed hanging out with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us. And thank you, Tanya, for coming on and making my channel look better. You look, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, okay. It's always good to have a beautiful sister next to you. So, <laughs> we just compliment each other. That's all, all I have. Um, just remember to live life, have fun, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.